How's it going everyone? Javita here with another release overview, this time for 190. I uh, have to admit this update pretty much just completely snuck up on me. I saw it last night, uh, crack of dawn, I was like, wow, where did this come from? It's not nearly as big as the previous update, understandably, but it adds some pretty awesome things. Probably one of my favorite things is actually the, the bars on the crafting machines that indicate durability. So the blue bars are of course full durability, yellow is it's taken some damage, and then there's this flashing bar right here to say that it's completely broken. So that is pretty awesome. And of course updates as you repair it. So no more of just kind of randomly whacking on machines just to see if they have some durability to be repaired. So that is pretty awesome. However, the main attraction is this right over here. You can now see player icons through objects, through walls, and as you can see, Zama right there is actually flashing, and that indicates that he is low on health. So, pretty awesome. Come over here, and he's uh, slightly drowned himself. However, they've added a whole new feature to the compass slash scanner. So if you come over to skills and under exploration, there's a number of skills to augment your compass. So the first one is triangulate, which allows you to see creatures on the compass. Then coming down here, there's wide scan to increase the range of this effect. And then down here, there's the assistant scanner, which highlights nearby players who need help. So I'll jump over to Javita that already has this skill. Okay, so on Javita it looks much the same, however if I look away, as you can see the icon is now at the edge of my screen in the direction of Zama. So now as long as I'm within, I believe the range is about 50 meters. So yeah, just over 50 meters and it disappears. If I get it just right it'll show up, but uh, <laughs> yeah. So now if you're trying to heal somebody in a group event, it should be a lot easier to see who needs help around you. Pretty awesome. Furthermore, the icon changes when the player is dead rather than alive. Now he's not flashing and it kind of, I guess, looks like a little skull. So that's pretty cool. So you easily be able to distinguish who needs healing and who needs a revive. Pretty sweet. Also, the buffs now display a little bit differently. As you can see, Zama has one debuff. If he had a buff, it would be a little orange box off to the right side of his icon. Now, if I look at him, it then expands out to see what it actually is, at least as far as what the picture is. So, pretty awesome. A little bit less stuff kind of cluttering up your user interface. So, pretty nice. If we can give Zama a bit of a helping hand here. There we go. <laughs> so, pretty awesome. They've also made a number of improvements to the icons above creatures. Now when a creature starts to become hostile, it'll actually flash that spitter <laughs> aggroed really fast for some reason. Come over here, see if I can get any of these wild stock to feel threatened by me. There we go. So that wild stock is warning me, starts the flash, and they've also changed it to where just because I attack a wild stock doesn't mean that it'll show up red for other players. So players that see red icons on the compass, that's because they're actually aggressive towards them and not just a player in general. So pretty awesome. They also did a tweak to one of the crafting recipes. Now sackcloth is a little bit cheaper to craft and then they mentioned that once the forge comes out, all of the crafting recipes will be due for balancing. So that pretty well covers all the changes in 190. It was a fairly small patch, but still added some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, I actually have specced into sort of a support fighter type role, so I can't wait to try it out in the hunts and see how healing is like in Boundless, so pretty sweet. 
Anyway, this was Javita. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And if there's anything you didn't like, please let me know down below. Until next time, peace.